and welcome to this new episode of Continuum Gaming and today we are going to talk about a little topic uh, which is Selfish OS centered, so how to play the piano with and without AD. AD is standing for the Alien Dalewick um, implementation of Android on the Selfish OS phone I'm using here. And uh, in the end we are going to use the Xperia 10 Mark III in this case and um, as always we are going to use my laptop which is uh, connected by HDMI to the TV at the moment. And so we are able to see, for instance, this image, of course, I'm just showing you there, but also what is going on on the smartphone itself by using screencast in this case. We already talked about that for a couple of different reasons because I'm always using the technology. And as you can see here in the browser, you can now access, or at least not access in the end, but at least see what is going on on the smartphone. So if I'm showing you that, it's going to be more or less the same thing. And of course, if I'm going to do something, it's going to be the same part. Okay, and um, yeah, something I want to show you too is of course, I'm going to use a Bluetooth de device for that. So Bluetooth uh, soundbar in the end, or better to say a speaker, a Bluetooth speaker, which is going to be connected to the smartphone. And so we have a better audio quality. Um, this one is a pretty nice one. If you want to, uh, to have a look at it, I'm going to put down below in, this, uh, in the commentary section a little link to that. Um, I'm not sponsored or something, so it's just a Bluetooth uh, speaker. There are a lot of them out there. Most of them are pretty good. This one is too. I'm going to use this one. And um, yeah, we can of course uh, do that even without uh, a Bluetooth speaker or something, but I'm just, uh, I just want to show you the better audio quality because I found a little bit, yeah, let's say an odd thing or whatever, which is going to be on the different um, apps here we are going to use. And for now, let's go to the all apps list here. And I have created a little piano option, or better to say a piano folder at the bottom here. I'm going to click in that, and as you can see, we have six different apps I'm going to show you. We are really, really just briefly, uh, briefly going over them, and I'm just going to show you a couple of them because I want you, you to show uh, that not all of them are working as they should, if you ask me, but whatever. Um, so let's start with a couple of them. There are a couple of them which are in the Android store, but not in the Play Store or something, but in F-Droid. And um, so F-Droid is more or less a best option to get Android apps and stuff like that, uh, which are open source and in the end not that much um, yeah, advertisement uh, wasted, whatever. So in the end um, there's not that much advertisement in there. And so if you want to go uh, with Android apps, I would recommend you to go use those. Other than that, of course, the Selfish OS own stores will offer you all the other ones. Okay, so let's start with the first one, which is WePiano. Um, and this is a, a one that can be downloaded by Open, uh, open Web Browser, so it's uh, yeah, natively running on the smartphone and on, on the Selfish OS, of course. And um, as you can see, it's, it has a pretty nice little option here, but really is a very simple app in the end. All of them are very simple apps in the end, but uh, it really does what it uh, should do, and that is more or less what we are searching for, right? So, as you can see, I can play it. Um, all of those are octaves you, uh, you are able to play, so darkest and highest tone in this case. And um, of course, you have a couple of different options which kind of piano you want to play here, which is a pretty nice thing too. So if you, for instance, go there, there is a pretty big difference between that. As mentioned before, I have this one running with my audio output here. can see it's working pretty fine it's natively running um, the delay is 
very, very reasonable and everything is running nicely. But it's very simple and especially if you're going to try it in the landscape mode or something, it's not going to work. So in the end, it's pretty hard to play this if you're really playing piano or something, because in the end, normally you would would have a yeah, finger uh, position, something like this. But it's not working in this case. So this is maybe not the best one. Yeah, it's more or less looking like this then. And it's maybe not the best option to go here. So let's have a look at the next one. Oh, just to mention it again, there are a couple of very, very interesting um, yeah, collections here. In the end, all of these are MIDI uh, files um, or just sounds that are going to be played as a wave file or something. And in the end, what you can see here already, there are a couple of different ones, but all are very, very similar. But if you want to test them out, try it out. It's very interesting, the different sounds. There is again a clear difference between those we had before and those. Um, so just try it out. If you have, have the right ear for it, you are going to uh, uh, hear a lot of different sounds there. Okay, so let's have a look at the next one. The next one is going to be Octave, which is a native one too. Available, I think, uh, over Open Repros too. Um, it has only one octave, which is a little bit of a downer, if you ask me. There are no options to, to increase that, at least as far as I could see here. And for some reason it's very, very, yeah, not bright. So they, they're not using really the colors that are available or the, the lightning that is available there, but have a transparent um, octave here, which is fine, of course, you can play like this. The interesting part, or why I have really included this, it's a really, really clean sound. It's really, yeah, a nice sound in your ear. It's natively running and it has this nice animations going on. So much better than the one before, with the exception of really being able to play uh, different octaves here, so you can't, for instance, swipe or something to get the other ones, which is a little bit of a downer there, if you ask me, but whatever. And um, yeah, so in the end, you really have to think about what you want to do here. Yeah, pretty nice one. Um, try it out if you want to, but in the end it's really really limited because of that own, uh, only one octave thing. So let's go to the next one. Um, the next one is Piano. Piano I think is the last one of the native ones, the other ones are, are using Android then. And as you can see it has two different octaves, which is at least better than the one, first one. It's not perfect because uh, you can't swipe them neither. So if I'm going to do anything other than that, it's not going to work like that. Give me one sec, there's some little fly sitting there. Um, in the end, nice one, but I have a couple of different problems with that one too, because is very very limited so there's no yeah you, you are close to not seeing what you have pressed more or less and that's not optimal at least you can play it in the right finger position it has two octa octaves so maybe this one is the best one of the native ones you can play in the end I'm not sure about that and um, it depends on what you like there and uh, of course, if you are a professional player or something, you're not going to use these kind of, of uh, playing instrument anyway. But um, yeah, I, I think this one is more or less my favorite for that it is possible to use in this way. Yeah, and um, other than that, we have a couple of other ones. So. Uh, the next ones we are going to have a look at are 
a little bit problematic because there is a, a sound problem with them. And all of those are from the F-Droid uh, Play Store, or from the F-Droid Store, sorry, not the Play Store. And um, the next one is Piano Oli. Piano Oli, however, doesn't have this sound problem. And uh, Piano Oli is meant for children, but I think it's one of the better ones. So as you can see, we have a very, let's say, colorful one. And there's this little icon. I don't really know what that is all about. It's not a setting icon. You can't touch it or something. So if I uh, touch it, it's going to play. Hold it. Press a second. I'm, I'm not... Ah, okay, maybe. Okay, sorry. So now we got into the, uh, the options panel. It's a little bit funny to do it like that. So you have to hold the first one and then search for the second one, press it. At the start, I just played uh, what it showed me there, which was a little bit funny, but whatever. The great thing about it is you have a couple of different options now. So you can, for instance, go with a guitar if you want to play that, or you can go with the music box or whatever you want to play here, which is a nice little touch. So it's not only piano in this case, but for instance, guitar if you want to. So we'll go back. There we go. Um, not the greatest quality of guitar or something, but... to play something like that. As you have already seen, there was a kind of a double tappy thing, so I pressed one key by accident two times, which I didn't really do, but whatever. Um, in the end, it's okay for children, for instance, of course, and of course it's going to be one of the better wraps because it really has a fine audio output, um, and you have these couple of different settings you see here. So a really nice one if you want to try it out. It's of course free on the F-Droid store. And the next thing which is a little bit more interesting because I found a sound bug with that and I'm not sure where that comes from. So if you own an Android smartphone or so just try it out maybe and let me know in the commentary section below if it's working for you. So is it an AD problem? So Alien Dalvik uh, problem about, uh, yeah, more or less uh, the Android uh, support of not only Bluetooth. It's not about Bluetooth. If I, I get rid of the, the uh, speaker here, it's going to be the same problem. So let's have a look at Semitone. Semitone is a great app, I think, because it has a couple of different options here. So for instance, you can use it as a tuner for guitars or for pianos, for instance. You can use it, so as you can see as I'm talking, these are the sounds I'm more or less modulating with my mouth now. And he's going to try to, to find out what kind of sound I'm making. And of course a tuner is working like that, so you are going to give it some kind of a, of a uh, yeah, sound, whatever. And then you will have to match that to the one that you desire. Yeah? And, um, by just more or less turning around wheels and stuff like that on the, on the guitar or whatever. So if you want to know how to do that, I have a guitar here too. So for instance, if you have that one, um, you can of course use this. Now, as you can see, I'm going to try to play something here. Let's see how out of tune my guitar is, yeah. A little bit. As you can see, we see the E2, which mean, just means, okay, it's pretty close to it. It's not the best tuning app, if you ask me. In general, you should get any kind of information. So if you have a look at this little fellow here, which is just my tuner for my, um, my guitar here. If you play on that one, you can see how much you are off. So I'm going to put that at my guitar here. And as you can see, if I'm going to play this, you should hopefully see how much I'm off, and I can now just adjust that in any kind of way. 
and if it's going to be green you can see hear it already we are going to change the tune here of this one string in the end and so you are going to go through all the different strings and try to get that right um, as mentioned before it's not the best one for that because you don't have any kind of real options there is of course this 32 cent stuff but it's not really that much helpful as a standard tuner you have seen there but whatever um, yeah and so this one tuner yeah, it can help if you don't have anything else, but not the best one away. Another one is a metronome, which can be helpful. So this one is pretty fine. Um, all this is going to do is, of course, doing exactly that. So giving you in a more or less yeah, nice little beat rhythmic stuff. Um, with BPMs per RPM, so beats per minute, how much you want to put in there, how much division you should have and stuff like that. So this one is pretty helpful if you ask me. And the interesting thing about all this is... It might sound a little bit strange, but it's fine. It's the sound they intended to have, I think, at least. But now let's have a look at the piano, because the piano version here is pretty helpful, pretty interesting. If you see this, this is going to help you to increase or decrease the octaves which are going to be visible on your screen. So you can have up to those numbers, so I think five ones, and in the end you could play with only one. Very interesting. You can shift this even, so if you need any kind of other stuff you can for instance try to uh, go with a smaller option here, there or a smaller footprint of each of the keys here but do we hear the sound yeah it's it's like it's going through some kind of a vibrator effect or something but there is nothing uh, in there at the moment and so this app has a couple of nice features, but the main feature is not going to work very well. Because this is not a clear sound, if you ask me. Yeah, not really helpful for that. I'm going to go to the settings, there are a couple of them, but in the end, um, for instance, you could, uh, could put it into another pitch if you want to. So A4 pitch or a C pitch or whatever you want to play there. Um, there is sustain or not sustain is enabled or disabled but in the end at our testing scenario it was uh, disabled so it shouldn't be there like that and yeah you can I can tell him to have all the different notes on the keys and not only the C1 labeled and stuff like that in the end a nice little app which has a couple of different very helpful additional features but the main one isn't working. So um, first off I thought this might be a problem with the app itself so the app has some kind of a weird behavior there and that could of course be the case but problem doesn't seem like that because the second one I tested has or the third one uh, of those has the exact same problem so we are going to go to tonality in this case another little app Helpful in the end, it looks very nice and promising too, but exactly the same sound problem. And uh, yeah, if you're thinking about, hey, that might be the, uh, the Bluetooth speaker or something, maybe that one has a problem. Um, no, it's not. I'm just going to get rid of the Bluetooth connection here and play it on, on the smartphone itself. Much, much less high pronounced or, or the volume is of course much much lower than but you can already hear it there is some ki a kind of a vibrato going on and it's a little bit like the, the um, sound files have a much too high volume in itself so the the different um, sound files can't be played anymore in the 
uh, by the speaker of the smartphone, but doesn't seem like it. Yeah, so it would be great if you could test this out and give me some kind of, of um, help. So if you have an Android phone or something, just download this from the F-Droid store. I'm going to put the, uh, the, um, the app that is going to produce this kind of problem, or the two apps which are going to produce this kind of problem down below. So just go into the description and have a look at the description box for the link for them. But as you already have heard, that's a problem. I'm not sure if it's the app, but it seems not to be because it's two apps already. Um, doesn't, ma doesn't mean that it's not going to be the app because in the end it could be that both of them are using the same sound engine or something. But um, yeah, it sounds a little bit uh, strange and crazy. So just try it out if you have that kind of, of option and give me feedback on which one it was. And yeah, other than that, I think we are through with the episode. I showed you a couple of them. All of the apps are going to be uh, linked in the description box if you want to try out one. Just have a look there. And yeah, other than that, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. I hope you had fun with this episode. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any kind of questions, comments or whatever, put them down in the commentary section below too. Other than that, thank you for watching, thank you for listening, have a great day and bye bye!